at Winterfest at the Arch in St. Louis, and what a picturesque location to experience ice skating and for Tisha, the first time ice skating. Oh, yeah. I'm so nervous. So I don't want to fall. I'm going to end up making snow angels on the rink because I'm going to be down on my back. I have to tell you, Tisha, that was awesome. You made it around the whole rink. <laughs> What about backwards? Is it easier because you're pushing it? And a lot of people came up to you and said that they were so proud of you. A lot of, yes. A lot of people were very proud of me. They were like, keep going. Like, you got this. You can do it. And they were cheering me on. And these were like complete strangers that were just impressed yeah. that I was willing to put myself out there and experience ice skating for the first time and participate instead of sitting on the sidelines and watching everyone else especially you as a beginner, and you were just giving it your all, which is amazing. But you were doing great. You were doing phenomenal. Whoa! <laughs> I forgot how to skate! You actually wore both of the different skates that they provided. Yes, because I wanted to see which one was better, and I have to admit, the, the skates that you had were better. They, they were, were better. lighter, they felt more secure, I felt closer to the ground, and Four blades instead of one made it even easier to feel just secure on the ice, I think. Show off! I mean, maybe the glide was not as graceful, but I felt better, like I could be faster. I think that I would have done a little bit better if the skates were more, I guess, smooth. I felt like I was trying to roll over a lot of like bumps or, or rocks or pebbles as I was going by. And even though I was trying to do the gliding, I would get stuck on like a, a bump or, or it, it was hard a rock. Because you were at an area of the ring where it was like more solid and therefore more difficult to skate on. That's why I was saying, you know, I wish you could feel what it was like to get away but you from the wall, but you're a beginner, so you needed to have the wall as extra support. I was too terrified to venture out to the middle, and I don't trust anyone to try to help me because if I fall and they fall and we're all falling, it's just, it would be a terrible thing. And getting up for me, I think, would be a lot difficult than it was for you because I've got my prosthetic and I can't bend my knee to a certain degree. Versus when you just, you, you went down and you popped up, like, mm -hmm. I didn't even know you fell. <laughs> like, I didn't know you were down. You just got up so quickly. So, I was actually, we were talking about falling and how we manage to get up when we do fall. And I was saying I use one leg to kind of essentially push myself up. But Tisha's question is how is that, how is it that that foot, that leg, doesn't slip while I'm trying to pull myself up? Well, I had to do it a couple times to figure out why and it's basically the moment I get my body and my momentum and my body weight up I instantly bring the weight over to the opposite leg so I'm not putting all my weight on one leg because if I do it will cause me to probably possibly slip so do you see that huh? <laughs> so there's a lot of differences between you know how you would skate and how I would skate. I think my prosthetic and my problems with my hip and the way the prosthetic is built has a lot to do with my flexibility and how I'm able to maneuver in skates. And most of the time they tell you the secret to skating is to keep your knees bent. I'm, I so wasn't you, able to do that. You were locked into your prosthetic because remember you also reinforced it with an additional strap yeah. to make sure that your foot didn't come out of the prosthetic. Uh -huh. So that made it even more difficult to keep that bend if you needed that. We were talking to the um, to Ryan here at a Winterfest at the Arch and talking to him a little bit about accommodating other disabilities. Oh yeah, we that was curious really big. about that. About how would someone in a wheelchair ice skate? Maybe even having a, a sit style um, sled for someone who wants to be on the ice. Because I asked him, how would someone in a wheelchair get on the ice? He said, well, we normally just let them put their wheelchair on the ice. <laughs> so it might be something that would help us too one day. Who knows? Yeah, I think we should work with companies like this to like help develop 
equipment for people with disabilities, whether they don't have arms or maybe they don't have legs or maybe they're in wheelchairs to help them or even like prosthetics to help them participate in activities like this because I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there who would like to but are afraid to try because they're not sure how they would do it. And that's where I came into a little bit of trouble because the skates that you were wearing in the beginning they wouldn't fit over my prosthetic. And Brian came up to me and he was like, hey, well, we've got these other types of skates. Would you like to try those? And I was like, yeah, definitely. Those would fit over my shoes and they didn't interfere with my prosthetic. So I was able to wear those. But then they also had like this red bar for children to hold on to so that they were able to skate. And the only problem with that is that it was too low for me as an adult to even like lean on to it or hold on to it with my shoulders. So we talked to him about that a little bit, about possibly getting some taller ones or adult sized bars so that we could, you know, hold on and, and glide without falling over. So that was a really good conversation. It was a good suggestion to, yeah. to do that. So I think being open to discussing possibilities for others is always amazing, is to be able to advocate for anyone with a disability. Well, thank you, Tisha, for doing something out of your comfort zone, for making the whole round in the ring, <laughs> being a good sport. Woo! <laughs> And I mean, it was it was awesome. It was really nice to try, but I don't think I will be doing any type of professional ice skating okay. anytime soon. I will let I'll let you do that for now on. Thank you for watching this episode. Thank you to Ryan at Winterfest at the Arch. We had an awesome time. If you want to support future episodes of Toe Talks, go to patreon.com slash Toe Talks or go to YouTube and subscribe to Toe Talks. See you later.